texting her during the day saying, babe, like uh, I'm craving some dessert, maybe some ice cream later with you sitting on my face. And YouTube just demonetized me for that, but that's okay. What up YouTube, it's your boy Dez, back with another reaction video, giving it to you the Reese way. So yeah, y'all see the topic, six things all women crave for in the bedroom. You know, it's, it's YouTube at the dark, you know, it's, it's, it's late at night, so I wanna talk about some juicy topics. So any man that's in a relationship or been in a relationship, you know that with the woman, you know, comes a manual. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but with women, you know, each woman is different. So anytime you get with a woman, you gotta learn about them, what they like, what they don't like, foreplay. Um, ladies, I'm gonna tell you this now, if a, if, a, if a man is not into you, you can forget about foreplay, you know? And But if a man doesn't have a lot of experience relationships, you might have to show him around a little bit or he's gonna have to take it upon himself to watch videos to learn, you know? I'm doing it myself, you know? so. Uh, let's get into this video. Every once in a while, I like to dive into the realm of the bedroom when it comes to the ladies because, well, like everything else, we are complicated and some things can't get explained. See, I said y'all come with a manual. Enough. So I pulled my own Instagram followers, all 300,000 of them, and asked Check. them what are some of the things that were really missing for them when it came to intimacy. And these definitely kept coming up. From my own personal experience, I would have to agree that these are also some things that have come up in my life as well. So if you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. If you're new here, my name is Sarah Dawn, and I am a dating and attraction specialist for men. So let's get into it. Six things that women are craving more in the bedroom. Number one is we want more foreplay. Mm. Now this by far came up the most. And I think a lot of times guys think that foreplay right. is only about being sexual, but foreplay is quite a large umbrella. And a couple things that kept coming to the surface was that no living being should ever eat processed food. That is true. Women felt that men were only touching them or giving them attention when they wanted to get it on. And that makes us feel a bit like a piece of ass, not gonna lie. Even when we're in a relationship with you, a woman can feel like the only time her man touches her is at 10 p.m. when he's ready to go. Men have this immediate urge to get their needs met. So sometimes you all get really focused on your job or being present during the day, which is completely okay and 100% understandable. But if you really want to increase that desire with a woman so that she feels, you know, like that you want her outside of the bedroom, these are some things that might work. Now, the relationship needs to be in a bit of a good place. There's tends to not need to be underlying resentment, but that's a whole other video. But texting her during the day saying, babe, like uh, I'm craving some dessert, maybe some ice cream later with you sitting on my face. <laughs> and YouTube just demonetized me for that, but that's okay. It can be sweet though, it's just saying, babe, I'm thinking about you and I can't wait to see you when I get home. <laughs> Oh. I mean, I, I mean that's true though, you know. I guess, like anytime, even if it's just with yourself or with your partner, when you just add it all day, like, because how many times you just been talking about sex with your partner, or just been watching videos all day? You know, you are somewhere where you can't get to it, so then when you finally get to it, it's like fast. Or but with your partner, y'all. You, System throughout the whole day, y'all playing each other the whole day. Um, so when you finally get to actually doing it, it's like it's like that rush. It's like the boom, boom, boom. And um, it's funny I'm talking about this because this is stuff I need to <laughs> do myself, you know. But um, uh, but yeah. But I, but I know this stuff, you know, it's, it's, you just got to implement it, you know? Or send her voice text. 
Sending things like these really help to increase our connection to you. And Esther Perel, famous, famous sex psychologist, says that foreplay starts the minute after you stop having sex. Just something to think about. So number two, the second most common thing that women crave in the bedroom is eye contact. Now, I know not every time is gonna be the same. Obviously, there are times when you are just going at it and it is hot and heavy. But what if, what if they cross-sided though? Is that still, I'm just saying, are you, like, how, how's that work? Is that gonna throw you off? Or you got lazy eye? What if you got lazy eye? How's that work? Seriously. Heavy, right? I get that. But there is this buildup that can happen where maybe you're doing missionary and you just stop and look at us and have this kind of steamy makeout session. It makes us feel so connected to you and we feel so seen and it's quite vulnerable when it's done right. It can just elicit feelings of bonding and closeness that you can't get anywhere else. Also, when I coach my guys who have a bit of a harder time lasting, this is a great way to slow things down a bit. Just take a pause and look into her eyes and, I mean, you could crack a joke, but that's like next level mastery. Laughing in bed is so much fun when you're truly comfortable with someone. It increases dopamine and it makes it just that much more enjoyable. So look into her eyes. Guys, I promise you, she will feel so good and so much more close to you. So number three, we want you to make a little noise. Okay, so for all of my silent love makers out there, no hate to you, I'm just sharing with you. It is funny because I've done that before and, I, and afterwards I'm like, <laughs> but I wasn't really that into her though, so. But you know. That, and this goes for the same for women as well, but. Yes. Do you know what today is? Today is the third day of our three day road trip across the country. You know, for guys, well, it's different for everybody. But it's just something about hearing a woman moan. You know, just hearing her just scream or yell. It's just, it's just, it just does something to you, man. It just, it's just, it just motivates you. You know, it just, it just gets the juices flowing even more. noise it lets us know we're on the right track and it doesn't have to be a lot but just a little bit you know, I was chatting with some of the girls and they were all sharing that the only time their man made any type of noise was pretty much right at the end when you know it's about to happen so you know for oh, us fellas. we also need that reassurance and there's this sweet spot where you're giving us just enough information but not like over the top we don't want to feel like you're acting again same goes for women but Give us a little sound here and there, guys. Just even if it's a little manly grunt. I don't know. You know what I mean. So number four, every girl has a little dirty in her. I am a firm believer that a lot of women, more than you would think, like it a little rough in the bedroom. But I see a lot of guys who are timid. Now there's a difference between being too respectful and just flat out aggressive. And if you haven't gotten to this point yet in the relationship, you know, there's some trust that needs to be built. You can have the conversation, you know, outside of the bedroom first, but a lot of time, and I mean a lot of the times, you can be a lot more rough than you think. Some of the highest powered businesswomen that I know, because I was in that world for a long time, we would talk in the lunchroom and we'd have our conversations and, oh man. And is the one place that a strong woman can totally let go and just be in her feminine self. So don't let a woman fool you. Most of us really want to be manhandled in the bedroom. Okay. I won't necessarily gotcha. tell you what my personal preference is, but I will tell you that that's pretty close to my personal preference as well. Anyway, we'll move on. Number five, on. toys, 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 toys. I have been known on occasion- You want rough? You got rough. I'm about to be throwing you like a damn rag now. Hey, ladies, I like this, like the little car wash person. Arm, but let me stop. Jen to be the one to, to pop my friend's toys, Cherry. So if you want an extremely yes, sexy date idea. I agree, man. Toys just, it makes it interesting. Um, and I haven't even, I've seen this all type of stuff they have, man. 
but you know, bringing their toy into the bedroom, um, using that to foreplay or role play. You know, you can do, you know, you can treat it as, oh, this is such and such, and I'm such and such, or you know, like you can. It's a lot you can do with with the uh, with her toy, but then there's other toys you got. You got like, um. The set swings, I, I never done a set swing, so I'm curious about that. You got the, um, well, that's another video, but yeah, there's, there's so many toys. Go pick up your lady friend, and let's say you've been dating for, I don't know, a couple months, and you want to spice things up a little bit. You want to take it to the next level, go on a date, pick her up, and take her to the toy store. And shoot, pick out something for yourself if you're so inclined. Toys can completely elevate the experience for the both of you. And I oh, oh, speaking of toys, let's say some I haven't tried, but you know I'm going to. Let's say you buy some vibrating panties for your girl, and then y'all go out to eat, and you playing with it. You know she's trying to keep her composure. Y'all go to a very public place, or let's say you just y'all go out to the bar or something, and she go to the bar get a drink, and you just. Uh, Somewhere and you just playing with it, the 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 button in the club somewhere. She don't know where you at, but uh, she just feel it, and then people are trying to talk to her. Maybe uh trying to spice it up without bringing someone into the bedroom. So she, you know, you allowing people to flirt with her, whether it's woman or, or man, whatever, and you just pressing it. And then I'm telling you, or I just can imagine, man. By the time y'all get to the bedroom, man, she's. And I know many guys who actually like toys as well. It's a total buzzkill when a man gets his ego hurt by a woman who wants to use these. This has nothing to do with you. And in fact, if you look up something called the orgasm gap, you will see that cis heterosexual women actually have the least orgasms out of any of the groups. Lesbians are having more orgasms than we are. Not that it's a big deal, no judgment. But 75% of women on average do not have orgasms vaginally. So we need some extra help sometimes. So please don't take it personally. This has nothing to do with you. Okay, lastly, number six, hold us after. One of the things that of course I had to learn about men was that there's this little intense thing that happens to you guys after you're done and you get really tired. It's funny, they joke about it in, in romance novels and in comedies where a woman will want to talk your ear off or she'll want to go run a marathon after she, you guys are done getting it on, but with men, they just want to fall asleep. I oftentimes laugh about our biology. How we even get along is beyond me because we are so different, but one of the things that women really want a lot of the times, and of course, this is a generalization, not all women are like this, but we do like to be held after. And I know a lot of men like this as well, especially as they get older, it can just feel really cold when you just turn over and go to bed. So look, I get if you're not a big cuddler, that's fine. If you wanna just roll over, great. But you know, at least look into our eyes, like at least do something to kind of close that connection loop with a kiss or spoon us for a little bit. Just do anything to let us know that like we're not just some sex object. And sometimes women don't want this and that's okay, but a majority of us do. All right, that's it for me today. You can find links to different- Okay, so I think, you know, very informal, uh, informal things, you know, I think that when you in a relationship and you plan on being with someone for the long haul, you first thing that I learned is you just have to really get to know the person. Not everyone's the same. Every every woman is gonna be different. You know, the woman you were with before might not like the woman that you're with now might not like the things that the woman before the before her did. You know, so you gotta learn her. Then the longer you with someone, you have to spice it up. You know, a lot of infidelity and, uh, from both sides come from just the sex life is just trash, dumpster fire. You know, so. In order to prevent that, first first thing first, you have to communicate with each other. Talk about new ideas and, and fantasies that you wanna to explore together. You know, sex toys, um, 
even like like um just, just thinking outside the box but i think you have to educate yourself you know about stuff like this i'm doing the same i'm trying to educate myself how to be better at foreplay how to be better at this and that you, know, you have to educate yourself because uh, you want things to just flow you wanna you don't want to keep doing the same stuff you always want to just have the bedroom on lock spicy like you feel like y'all 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 sex life and nobody mess with y'all like if it was a competition you feel like y'all be at the top you know um uh so yeah and, and porn is not just for like your self-pleasure it's to learn you know learn new techniques new moves um so you just have to educate yourself like with everything in life to get better at it you know, some people view the idea of bringing Swan into the bedroom as to spice it up. Well, first of all, first off, you can't have any issues or any problems. And but oh, we need to spice it up. Let's bring Swan. You already wrong because it's gonna backfire. Um, for some people, bringing another man into it honestly is different from bringing a woman into it because with the man there's penetration. You get what I'm saying? With the woman, there's not. You know, and you don't necessarily have to, the man doesn't have to penetrate the woman. Y'all could just, you could just let them do their thing. And while you messing with your woman, she mess with the other girl, vice versa. Um, but, you know, so that whole bringing someone in is tricky, man. And, and it's not for everyone. Um, me personally, I think the most I could do is, is with a woman. Um washing them and i mess with my woman i'm pretty sure my woman's not gonna want me to penetrate the other woman which is fine um so we could just keep it at like that uh as far as like another man i mean now uh, you can fantasy talk about it like dang what would you do uh, but that's about it you know and that's still um for personal experience that still can do something uh without actually actually doing it because you don't want to want penetrating your woman but yeah, man, so tell me what y'all think. Man, hit that comment section. What's some things that work for you, woman, ladies? What is some foreplay ideas? What What do you think that, what, what would you share to someone? Uh, hit that comment section, share. Uh, let's get a whole thread going. You know, I, you know sex is, is, is one of the backbones of relationships. So you gotta get that right. So yeah. But thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Roll to 1K. Support your boy. Um, definitely going to be doing more videos like this. Call it like YouTube at the dark. You know. <laughs> the Reese way at the dark. Uh, but yeah. Hit that subscribe button. man. Y'all be safe out here. I'm out.